hey there everyone welcome to another video of fox and white so in this video we're gonna learn how to push an image from an android application to the firebase storage using kotlin as the backend language right so let me just give you a brief demonstration of what we can get by the end of this video so if you can see on my mobile screen i have this app open so if i just tap on this select image and if i select any image for example if i select this image and i press this upload image button So okay, image has been successfully uploaded. So if I just refresh this Firebase storage. So you can see an, a directory named images has been created. If I just go inside this and tap on this image. So this is the same image that we have uploaded, right? so this is what we'll be getting by the end of this video right so if you want to implement the same to your android application make sure you watch this video till the end so without too much ado let's get started so guys if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that on the button as well so let's start with the development so i assume that your android application project has been connected to a firebase project right and uh, all the dependencies has been added for using the firebase storage but if you are a newbie or you do not know how to set up all these things you can watch this video by clicking on this i button in which i have explained in depth that how to connect the app to the firebase project and to the rest of the things adding the dependencies and all that stuff right so before moving forward make sure your project is connected to a firebase project and dependencies are being added so let's start so let me just create a new activity let's call it as storage activity so okay let this thing be completed okay this thing has been completed so let me just quickly design this front end screen right so if you already have a design for this you can directly skip to the backend code the timestamps are there in the description right you can directly check out the backend code So okay guys we are done with the front end part so basically we have got an image view and two buttons right so we have got the buttons and the image view here so let us just quickly dive into the back end code now so the very first thing we are going to do is the view binding thing right so for that i'll declare a variable So now we are going to set the on click listener on the select image button right and inside this we are going to call a method select image so let us create this method done now we are going to set the on click listener on the upload image button and we are going to call a method upload image let's create this function as well so let us implement this select image first let's create an intent let's 
will set the type of the intent to select the images right and the action for which will be get content right we'll call the start activity for results and we'll pass this intent and let us give it a request code of 100 now we are going to overwrite a method on activity result so this particular method will be called when the user selects an image from the gallery right so we'll check if the request code is equal to the code for which we have traced the request rate and the result code is equal to result okay now let us create another variable for the image URI and the type of which will be URI rate so image URI is equal to data dot data right we'll get the data that we have got through that intent and binding dot firebase image dot set image URI to this particular image URI right let us see what is the error okay, it should be this one this particular UK. okay now we have got the image inside this image or uri now we are going to override this method upload image so whenever user uh, clicks on the upload image button right the very first thing we are going to do is to show a progress bar this library has been deprecated still i'm going to use this because it's going to work fine as if now So we have shown the progress dialog. Now for the image name, we are going to use the current date and the time at which the user is uploading the image, right? So for that, I'm going to use this class. Simple date format. And here we'll pass the format in which we want the name, right? So we have got the file name right inside this variable file name variable now we are going to make a, a storage reference variable right so for that I'll name it as storage reference is equal to we'll got the instance of firebase storage and we'll get the reference and we'll pass the path here for example our images should lie inside this directory so this slash and now the name of the file right so we have got the reference to the firebase storage so storage reference dot put file and we'll pass the image URI here right now we'll add the on success listener so inside this now we'll set the image view in our activity to null so set image URI to null because we have uploaded that image 
and we'll raise a toast and then if progress dialog is showing we are going to dismiss that and in case uh, for some reason we are unable to upload the image so what we'll do is so that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement this feature to our android application right so let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right okay the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on mobile screen if i just select an image so we'll just select this one and click on this upload image So the image has been uploaded so let me just refresh this okay you can see here that we have got another image right so i guess this one only maybe this one yeah so this was the image that we have uploaded right so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see you in another video bye